In the afternoon sitting led by Senate Speaker Ken Lusaka, who served as the House Second Speaker, Lusaka officially announced the adjournment of the plenary sittings. Sittings of the plenary and all committees stand suspended at the rise of the Senate today. As it closes business, the 12th Parliament has been able to consider and pass 20 bills, 403 motions, 103 petitions, and 501 statements touching on various aspects of everyday lives of Kenyans. In executing our oversight and representation role, the Senate undertook various inquiries. Some of the most notable ones include, one, protecting Kenya workers in the Middle East, Two, assessment and monitoring of COVID-19 pandemic situation in Kenya. Three, the condition of correctional facilities in the country. Four, the challenges facing the tea sector that culminated in the enactment of the Tea Act in 2020. The Senate also considered five impeachment motions. Three of the impeachments were considered by way of investigation by a special committee with respect to grant on Samboja Governor for Taita Taveta County and Waiguru Governor for Kirinyaga County and Mohamed Abdi Mohamud, governor of Wajia. On the other hand, the Senate oversaw the impeachments of Fernand Waititu Babayao, the then governor for Kiambu County, and that of Mike Sonko, the then governor for Nairobi. The 12th parliament of the Senate was also bereaved, losing the then senator for Migori County, the late Ben Oluoch, the then senator for Machakos County, the late Bonfes Kabaka, the then senator for Garissa County, the late Mohamed Yusuf Haji, a nominated senator representing the youth, the late Victor Prengay. The leadership of the House was also changed with Kindiki Kithure, who served as deputy speaker, and Kipchumba Murkomen as majority leader, Susan Kihika, majority chief whip, Irungu Kangata, Senate majority whip, and Kimani Omatangi, majority chief whip, all being ousted in their positions, falling apart in the ruling Jubilee party. The lowest moment was when the, our own party decided to to annihilate us or to hemorrhage when the party of Jubilee decided to hemorrhage by de-whipping us. And uh, my lowest moment is when I was uh, being de-whipped as a member of JLAC and eventually as the chairperson. Baada handshake. Ilimani kawazi, ilimani kawazi. Ya kwamba hatu takuenda na mna hii. Tuhanze kuenda na mna hii. Ndiyo sasa watu wakaanza ku chukua position sikati. Kuma, kam, kuma, kamati sasa ikawa upande wa upinzani pia wamepewa nafasi na majukumu ya kuwa wenye, wenye viti katika kamati fulani mm. na ndiyo sababu hapa ndani tuliweza kuendesha biashara ya seneti na maendeleo yakapatikana na ndiyo sababu pia tukaweza kupitisha bills nyingi zaidi kuliko ile seneti ya kwanza since this is the last day i will allow you the members of the Senate while bidding each other farewell on the floor of the House, however, took time to reconcile ahead of the August general election. I thank you for being very patient with us. It was a very emotional uh, period because everyone, of course, had their own view. I want to ask for your pardon, even as I also state that I have pardoned those who crossed me. The senators will now hit the ground to seek re-election for another term, even as others are eyeing to be governors, while the rest retire from active politics. Joel Chacha, K24 TV, Nairobi.